Thank you very much, Peter, and uh, to all the viewers. All right, so last year, you got a big tick for the World Cup. Uh, yet another big event. We've been talking about COP17. As a province, are you ready? We are ready. Uh, uh, the World Cup was a big uh, thing for us. It went very well and the people who were in South Africa actually marked it as one of the best venues and we're very proud of that. This time around we're also very excited. It's a big event coming through and of course on the one side it's going to inject a lot of uh, resources in terms of tourism and uh, that's one side. But on the other side it shows our preparedness logistically in terms of the security, traffic flow and everything to make people compatible and, and, and host a huge gathering but lastly we believe that the content of the discussions are actually very very big plus if for example Deben uh, comes out with a very good agreement then uh, it goes to the world as the Deben agreement it goes to the world as a place where uh, you know uh, good decisions were taken and everybody's going to re refer to it as a landmark discussion so we're really looking excited we're excited about it and uh, we've also been moving around activating our communities telling them about COP17 but What's happening, what's the issue of the climate change is all about, and they're already starting a number of programs uh, to actually anticipate this, the transplanting of the trees, recycling of the waste, and the issue of understanding the issue of green economy, green energy, and all of this, I believe that uh, it's an opportunity for us to make people understand the issues much better. All right, um, you know, this time a week ago, uh, we were busy mulling over the National Development uh, Plan, which was launched by the Planning Minister Trevor Manuel, and he talked about some big issues, creating jobs. What are you doing in the province around that? And how are you going to fall into this National Development Plan? I think we need to understand that the National Planning Commission is actually doing a plan about South Africa. We're part of that. We've made inputs and we've also got uh, a lot of other you know, uh, initiatives in the province. We've also got our own provincial planning commission, which articulates with the national one. So we, we're part of the bigger scheme of things, the issues of, uh, you know, new growth path, the issues of creation of new jobs, the issue of uh, really taking the economy in a new tra trajectory of growth. We're all part of that. But we're also looking at how this province can, uh, you know, input and contribute into the whole uh, plan, national plan, because of the strategic nature of the province and some of the you know, possible investment opportunities that arise from here. So some of the major projects that would actually be uh, in the uh, uh, planning commission actually do come from the province. You know, there's a whole thing about a new port development, the whole fast train issue, a Deben job a corridor, and, and all of these are quite important. Also, you know, some of the uh, power stations by... Um, uh, ESCOM in the province, the one in Gula is one major one, is still going on right now. And so we're really looking at it as, uh, you know, the area of areas of growth, the new area of tourism, the area of petrochemical industry uh, is all going to be happening in the province. The whole agriculture and agro-processing area, we're well set for it. We've just toured last week uh, the uh, uh, a trade port and out of this we're showing right. uh, capacity to be able to uh, participate in this whole plan. All right, so that's the national plan. Uh, the provincial plan, service delivery is a big issue for people uh, in this province, jobs and so on and so forth. Um, you fired two MECs recently. Do, is that an indication of how seriously you're taking this? Well, we have to reorganize every now and again. We have constant, uh, you know, assessment of the performance of our government, and we have to keep, uh, you know, all the, the whole team focused on its strengths and its capacity to accelerate service delivery. And we believe that the changes from which were announced last week are going to actually help take the province forward. We're focusing now, we're literally at halfway through the mark of our term. It's almost like half time. And so we have to relook and say, how do we make sure that we accelerate and cover the gaps in areas where we believe that the province has not done very very well, and that's what we have done. The focus really on strengthening on education, on health, edu on health, uh, or in the community, a big uh, programs on the ground there. Integration of the services is a big issue, uh, and we are running it as a special campaign called Operation Sugumasaka, bringing government, integrated government, right to the world level with community partnership at the same time. All of these are some of the focus areas. Of course, job creation is a big one. On the other hand, economic growth is a big one. But uh, in in you know, really to deal with the social issues 
issues of HIV and AIDS, teenage pregnancies, you know, unemployment and skills development, all of these become a package that we believe that we need to really work on and on our way forward. All right, and very briefly, we've got a number of business leaders uh, in uh, the venue already waiting to engage with the president. How are you creating an enabling environment for business to succeed in this province? Well, we have uh, forums of interaction, and one of them is called the Growth Coalition, and here we uh, deal with issues of uh, you know, concerns from business. We also go straight and talk about some of the straight political issues of their concern, issues inside the ruling party, issues around the service delivery by government, relationships, opportunities, the delays by uh, environment impacts assessment, and so on. And we want to strengthen that kind of area, and we want to really create an environment where business people feel that there's a partnership with government that makes us all work towards uh, to creating a better economy for the country. KZM Premier Solinkize, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, so we're minutes away now.